Alright, Assalamualaikum uh, I'm Edith Yanti Yaakob okay, In this video, I will briefly explain about glycolysis um, So, uh, in the previous lecture I already explained about the principle in glycolysis So, uh, in this video we need to know the pathway in the glycolysis, how many ATP being utilized and how many ATP is being produced. Okay, and uh, what is the yield, uh, how many yields of ATP uh, being uh, reserved. Okay, glycolysis, glyco refer to the glucose and lysis refer to the uh, breakdown. So basically it's a breakdown of glucose into two molecules of pyruvates and there are two in two process two phases in the uh, glycolysis which involve investment phase and also involve payoff phase so investment is where the ATP is being utilized ATP is being used and in the payoff phase uh, the phase where the ATP is being produced back okay so now we go to the investment phase Okay, investment phase is started when the glucose entering the cytosols okay, or cytoplasm. So this glucose is too big. This is a very complex molecule in order to enter the mitochondria and to produce the ATP. So what's happened? It must be break down into pyruvate. So in order to break down into pyruvate, they must undergo a sec, uh, two phases, which is investment phase and also uh, pay off it. So now we look at the investment phase. Glucose six carbon compound. Okay, this glucose is six carbon carbon compound. It's being converted into glucose six phosphate. Okay, enzyme involved in in this reaction is hexokinase. Hexo refer to the six carbon compounds of glucose. Kinase refer to the phosphorylation process. Phosphorylation is uh, the process where the phosphate is being transferred. So uh, in this uh, reaction, one phosphate from the ATP, okay, from the adenosine triphosphate is being transferred to the glucose at the carbon number 6 and it become, the glucose now become uh, glucose 6 phosphates, okay, glucose 6 phosphates because phosphate groups from the ATP is being transferred to the glucose at the carbon number Six. So what happened to the ATP now? This ATP now becoming ADP, adenosine diphosphate, because it's loss of one phosphate group. So in this reaction, we say that ATP is one ATP is being utilized. Okay, and the next steps is glucose six phosphate is converted into fructose six phosphates which is both uh, isomer and, and, and it involves the catalyzing enzyme which is phosphoglucoisomerase. Okay, bila you tengok ada nama isomerase meaning that this enzyme involved in isomer reactions. So, uh, this uh, steps is a simple uh, rearrangement. Okay, and from fructose 6-phosphate, now it being converted into fructose one six by phosphate, okay by phosphate. So what happened in in these steps? Okay, enzyme phosphofructokinase involved for catalyzing these reactions. Okay, again, when you see kinase, meaning that phosphorylation process happened here, meaning the phosphate group from ATP is being uh, transferred to the fructose at the carbon number one. So that's why the product is fructose one six by phosphate. Okay, so what happened to the ATP? Now it's uh, it's become ADP. So here another ATP is being utilized. So how many ATP being utilized now? Two ATP. So uh, the next steps is from fructose one six by phosphate it is splitting into two molecule which is glyceraldehyde three phosphate and also dihydroxyacetone phosphate glyceraldehyde three phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate is an isomer okay enzyme uh, involved 
in this reaction from fructose one six phosphate biphosphate into two molecule of glycerol three phosphate and dihydroxy acetone phosphate is aldolase, and glycerol three phosphate uh, and dihydroxy acetone phosphate can be interconverted. So with the help of enzyme or isomerase. So in investment phase, okay, it only involve uh, two. Uh, it only uh, 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 use two ATP. Okay, so two ATP has been utilized in investment phase. First, at the first steps, glucose to glucose six phosphate one ATP has been utilized, and the second ATP being utilized at the third step from fructose six phosphate into fructose one six by phosphate. So total amount of ATP being used only 2 ATP. So that's all for investment phase.